Ah, I just lost everything I've been working on for hours. Hey, this is JR Fisher and this is part three of the series of the pros and cons of using your iPhone for YouTube videos now you can actually make great videos if you just do it right and you make a few little changes here now I've sold millions of dollars of products online both physical and digital products and I want to share with you some of the tricks and the secrets that I've learned along the way and I've used my iPhone a lot to record videos so you can do it you can make some stunning videos you just got to know what to do now if you missed either the first or second video in the series you'll want to go back and watch them first because they are a series you're supposed to watch them first go do that okay now once you've done that you want to continue to this video right here now if you don't know where those videos are I'll put a link below calm down it'll be there just click on it and you go back and you can watch them comment and let me know what you think of this series if you like it let me know if you don't let me know that's fine too but do comment there have you been making videos on your iPhone if so what kind of success have you had what kind of problems have you had let me know in the comments below now in the previous videos I showed you how to make the actual videos and what to do with the videos and this one here now we've got a file what do we do with the file so in this video by the time we finish this video you're gonna know exactly what to do with the file how to edit the file what to do when you edit the file to get real success and don't forget at the end of this video when you stay to the end I'm gonna give you free access to my $97 course absolutely free the only requirement is that you have to click the subscribe button and I'll tell you about that later okay so let's jump right in now the first obstacle you're gonna come across is you've got a file on your phone how are you gonna get it to your laptop and edit it now you can do some editing on your phone but I would recommend that you do it on a laptop it's much easier and you're gonna have a whole lot more options so what do you do well if you have an iPhone like I do I have a couple options but if you don't you're gonna be limited you can't really text it the files too big you can't really email it because the files too big so what do you do you're stuck right no you're not stuck there's a couple things you can do now I bought this little gadget right here and it's pretty cool I found it on Amazon it actually plugs into my iPhone and it will transfer that file immediately to this little zip drive so that's pretty cool but if you've got an iPhone the best thing to do is to actually use airdrop airdrops awesome here's how you use airdrop just follow along and as you can see here all I have to do is pull up the picture hit the little button it's gonna to go to the area where I want to send it I pick airdrop and boom see there it just sent it to my computer and it's already there so that's pretty cool okay so now you've got the file on your computer what the heck do you do with it you've got to edit it you can't just shoot a video and not I mean like uh, see okay so see I should have edited that right don't leave that kind of stuff in your video you've got to take your video and edit it properly but what do you do how do you edit this video now there's a couple free programs first I want to tell you about if you've got Macintosh or Apple you're gonna have Apple uh, iMovie and that's gonna come standard on your computer you can use that and it's great it's really good it doesn't give you all the options of some of the paid ones and I'll get into that in just a second now another free one you can get for uh, Windows is Movie Maker that's gonna come free on your computer now the only problem with both of these is they're limited as far as your options so if you want to put text and pictures and music and sounds that's a lot of tracks and neither one of these will let you put a whole lot of tracks there but you don't have to buy anything in the beginning because I certainly used them and I think most people do in the beginning they use the basic editors so you can certainly do that now the best paid ones I would say are gonna be Final Cut Pro which I have and it's a good one and Camtasia I really really like Camtasia a lot Camtasia is probably one of the best ones out there and quite honestly I use Camtasia for editing pictures too because you can do so much with words and graphics and that type of thing I almost use Camtasia more than I use Photoshop so if that tells you anything at all so both of them are good though if you want paid ones I would recommend Camtasia I like it better it seems easier for me to work within it now 
when you're editing your videos the whole point of your videos is to get rid of useless information and keep the viewers attention if you don't keep their attention and they don't continue to watch your video then they're gonna click off and that's not gonna be good for your algorithm if they're not completing you know a lot of your videos then they aren't good so we have to do something about that so how do we make them good how do you edit these videos where people want to continue to watch now there's several things you can do you can zoom in and out and, and I used to think at the beginning people were doing that with their cameras they would do like this or they would do like this or like this or like this and the thing is they weren't zooming in and out at all all they were doing is cutting that particular section and zooming it in on their movie editor and then zooming it out on the movie editor simplest way to do it you can also do things like adding logos when you talk about a particular thing you can add music like this or like this and you can change colors so you can use color or you could use black and white that gets people's attention too you can also use sound effects and you can even do crazy things like I did in the beginning of this video but all those things are gonna keep your viewers watching and coming back for more of your videos so where do you get free music from where do you get sounds from where do you get all this stuff from if you go into YouTube in the creator studio they actually have all kinds of music you can get out of there and you'll want to sort it by usage and you will want to read the rules on that because they do have really strict rules and if you think you can put music in your video and that YouTube won't know it mm -mm. they have an algorithm that actually listens to your videos and if you've got one in there that's got copyright infringement on it you're gonna get in trouble and if you get too many strikes they'll actually cancel your account so you don't want to do that if there's an attribution that you have to attribute to that particular artist make sure you put that in the video keep you out of trouble I found this site here called freesound.org pretty cool you do want to read all the usage rights but just about any sound you can think of is in there if I wanted a dog barking right now I'd have a dog barking it's really that simple so you'll want to check that one out too really good really useful things so that pretty much completes this series on the pros and cons of using your iPhone to create videos if you like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel when you subscribe guess what you're gonna get free access to a $97 course there's a link right below well you really wouldn't have to subscribe because the links there no matter what but I got you to subscribe and that's a good thing so don't forget also turn on your notifications click that little bell there so I can let you know when I have my next video ready for you to listen to don't forget to comment below let me know have you tried some of these things have you been using your iPhone to do videos have you used some of these programs that I've mentioned and what kind of luck did you have with them let me know in the comments below thanks for listening I'll talk to you soon hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel